right. I just realized that I cut that whole song with a band-aid on my face because I cut myself shaving this morning. <laughs> I could have taken it off before I started recording, but these are the things that happen when you're your own producer and cameraman and songwriter and everything else. Anyways, we'll just leave it on. So it's the Brig. Original pedal was called the Brigadier, I do believe. This is the Brig D-Bucket Delay, so their analog style delay pedal. And oh my God, does it ever sound good? You heard it on all the guitar parts on that song in the beginning of the video. Now, I never made a video for the original, actually. I did a video for the, the L Cap, or no, wait a minute, for the timeline. But I know I never did one for the original Brigadier, so it was really fun to do this one. This pedal sounds amazing. I mean, it's so awesome to be able to get uh, those analog, modulated, super warm, super dark delay tones, but have them in full stereo, which is what I did right off the bat. The main guitar in that song was full stereo. <laughs> was one of the lead guitars that I decided to cut in mono just to keep the signal, you know, up the middle and focused while there was a couple rhythm guitars left and right. But other than that, I think I did everything else in stereo. Switch there from mono stereo on the back that lets you easily do stereo input, stereo output, mono input, stereo output, mono input, mono output, whatever you want. While we're talking about it, you, you've also, of course, got your power jack back there. And then also a MIDI over quarter inch or expression pedal input there does a, a double duty kind of thing because you can store up to 300 i think presets in this that's incredible right i'm not doing any midi stuff in this video but the options are there pretty much i mean how many presets do you need kind of unlimited really you can also do updates or uh midi over usb if you want to send midi from your computer for some reason you can do that uh, over usb input so the controls couldn't be simpler you got a mix control there at about three o'clock where i've got it right now that's actually the 50 50 setting and then as you turn it up from there the dry starts to get mixed out and you just end up with delay at the end but it's got a really really wide range on it which is super nice for running in front of amps because it's real gentle i mean if your amp's got a little bit of grit on it you can totally turn up this control and it's got a nice range on it, it doesn't like all of a sudden you're swimming in delay so the mix controls tapered really really nicely you've also got a time knob there so you can manually little, little, manually adjust the time with the knob or you can tap tempo more on that in a little bit you got delay filter there that'll kind of filter out the tails less high-end more high-end but it's always nice and warm the character of this pedal get your feedback or repeats knob there and then you got modulation so it kind of couldn't be simpler and it just sounds awesome. So I'm gonna play some more through the pedal, turn the knobs, I'm gonna solo some of those parts outside of the mix so you can clearly hear those. I think you could probably clearly hear them in the mix anyway, but that's what we do here. Just another awesome one from Strymon. I forget sometimes, you know, if I don't play a Strymon pedal for a while, just how great they are. I mean, I'm still a fan after all these years, they just do stuff right. It's so simple and yet kind of complex in that you can store 300 presets, but simple in operation, just easy to get a great sound. As soon as you plug it in, it rewards you with just beautiful tones. All right, let's get on with it. It's the Brig from Strymon. So I just recorded my first part in the song at the beginning of the video. For this, I'm using the voice switch in the middle setting. More on that in just a second, but it, it sounds something like this right now. <laughs> Okay, so this is kind of like a, a little bit of modulation, just sort of like a light mod going on, a little bit of sort of chorus effect on the delay repeats. I've got a considerable amount of repeats happening. I've got the mix up around 130. So let's investigate some of the different features here that we have in the Brig. So first of all, um, the voice switch. Let's go to the first setting. This is kind of like your typical analog vintage delay pedal um, that will have not actually a, a heck of a lot of delay time on tap usually. Usually anywhere from like zero on up to maybe 300 or so milliseconds, something like that. And that's just because of the limitations of the traditional analog delay chips. So this simulates that mode. Okay, so notice that if I put the voice switch in the middle, I get double the, the delay time. Okay, so it used to be if you wanted a true analog delay to have longer delay times, you actually had to use more chips 
in them, more the, the bucket brigade chips in order to double up the delay time, and then they got more and more expensive and whatnot after that. So it's just kind of interesting. This mode simulates that. So your first voice is going to be for sh uh, like very short to short delay times. If I turn the time knob all the way out, not sure how long that is exactly. It might be 300 milliseconds or something like that. In the second setting, maybe it goes out. I'm not sure exactly. Check the specs. It might be 600 or 700 milliseconds or something. Sounds like something like that to me. Maybe six, seven, eight hundred milliseconds, something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Now the next delay voice is going to be a multi-head setting. So this is like on a uh, Roland Space Echo where you've got you know multiple different delay taps and they all kind of feed into one another and you get a cascading effect. something like that with a sound like that now if I slow the delay down with those multiple taps going what you're actually gonna get is more like a reverb like effect all a reverb is is a bunch of delays happening at once right all coming back at you really quickly um, so stands to reason that a, a multi-head echo at faster speeds when they're coming back real fast and you can't distinguish between them anymore um, is kind of like a reverb lo-fi verb it's really really cool sounding actually i'm gonna get out of the multi-head mode here i'm gonna go back to the uh the middle voice setting for my delay that's probably somewhere around 450 milliseconds and now let's investigate the mod sounds that we can get going here so you can get some really nice sort of like uh more like a chorus kind of natural uh sound that's just slightly modulated at uh around 10 o'clock 10 30 something like that and it's not too uh, you know modulated out or anything like that not too seasick but turning it up actually to 1 30 or 2 o'clock you get actually a really cool like sort of fast rate setting <laughs> I love sounds like that. I mean, you might want to use less mix and feedback, but it can be a great thing. I'll turn the feedback down a little bit, bring the mix back a little bit. Let's see what this sounds like. And there's a real cool kind of, you know, dirty halo surrounding the notes that, that I really like. Uh, with this delay. So let's check out the filter now. I'm going to bring the mod back around 10 o'clock for a little more sort of natural, just a little bit of chorusing, and let's turn the filter now. So darkest sounds are all the way down, brightest sounds are all the way up, but even on the brightest setting, you're still going to get a fair amount of a filter going on. This will never sound like a digital delay. It's definitely got a darkness to it, you know? I just want to show you tap mode for a second here. This is really cool. You can see the uh, the light blinking right now, the red light, and that's indicating uh, a quarter note pulse that I've got going right now. If I want to enter tap mode, I just hold down the foot switch for one second, and then you can see the LED turn blue for a second. Now, if I tap in a different quarter note value, one, two, three, four, now I'm getting that time. But if I turn the time knob here while I'm in this mode, I can go between a quarter note, a dotted eighth, an eighth note triplet, an eighth note. There's different uh, division settings available here in kind of the four quadrants. And then to get back out of tap mode, just hold the button for one second again. Now I'm back in the standard on off mode. Really quick, I just wanna show you the type of cable I'm using here because all the sounds I'm doing in this video are in stereo. So the cable I've got here is a uh, 
you know, stereo on this end, coming out of the stereo out of the pedal, and then splitting out to two uh, quarter inch here, where I've got two quarter inch cables coming out. And I'm using a plug-in for this video. I'm using the uh, PT100 plug-in uh, to record all the all the guitar sounds. And basically just uh, coming stereo out right into two channels on my interface, and that's how I'm getting such a nice stereo sound. So I'm, I'm simulating uh, uh, running directly in front of two amplifiers, essentially, that are hard panned left and right. That's the, the guitar sounds you're hearing in the video. You can use the pedal in mono if you want, but the way that they've done this in such a small pedal and kind of integrated the stereo feature, you just need to get yourself... Uh, a Y cable like this that splits out of a, a quarter inch uh, TRS or stereo on one end to two quarter inch for your left and right outs and, and then you can get a stereo sound going just like me. Thanks you guys for watching my video on the Brig. Terrific sounding D bucket or uh, bucket brigade style delay, analog sounding delay anyways. Just incredible warm analog tones in both mono or stereo. You got expression capability, ability to store a ton of presets and recall via MIDI if you want, and yet it's so super duper simple and easy to use, it couldn't be easier. We love you Strymon, you do great stuff, you bring us awesome tools as musicians to use. Uh, we adore you. You can totally check it out further at the links down there in the video description below. Click down there, it'll take you to more info about, oh, excuse me, <coughs> this terrific pedal. I am Peter Thorne. Take care, over now. out.